precious name. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. I know your hunger is strong. Your expectations are high. Um, but we need to come down for a moment. Let's draw some lines. Tonight we will fly. <laughs> Telling you. You know, while you were ministering in the morning, before I left the hall, the Holy Ghost whispered to my ears. He said, this evening, he will allow some of the patriarchs, the spirit of just men, to participate in this service. Because of the emphasis he's bringing. Listen, most of you will enter into economies in the spirit that you will not understand again for the rest of your life. You will literally be regulated by the things you will enter into. And your life will become a parable that God will tell to this generation. So I need to carefully draw the lines so that you will gain understanding enough to interpret your experiences and to submit to them in the name of Jesus Christ. You may be seated. God bless you. Salute your neighbor by the left and the right. Say welcome in the name of Jesus. Again, it's my privilege this evening to be here. This gathering is made possible by the Holy Ghost through his servant, Reverend and Mrs. Tolua Logo Agbola. Such a great honor. Honor you greatly. I appreciate your, your love for the kingdom and your services and labor of love. My friend, Pastor Rasim Irem, came all the way from Ibadan. I know Ibadan is very far, but he came for like two hours. Traveled all the way to be part of this session. We are grateful to God. All the ministers in the house, thank you so much for being a part of what God is doing here. My precious brother, Pastor Judah. At least I know him by name. Beautiful preacher and teacher of the word of God. Thank you all for coming. And of course, my covenant brother, Pastor Victor. The roaring intercessor. Some of the things I will share tonight will make you understand why 
people are, are different in the kingdom. In the days of David, they say some of them, their faces were like lions. You will see such dimensions and many of you will enter tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. When I came in last night, I just spread, decided to spread the net to drag everybody in, to trigger a consciousness and to draw your attention to the urgency of the now. What God is doing is strategic and is very urgent. This is why the Lord will not lower his hand in dealing with you until you are chiseled enough to handle the glory that is coming to bear the burden that should be born and to steward the move of God for your generation. What is coming is massive. It's big and it's enormous. A people must be prepared. It's not Christianity as usual. There are levels of awareness and consciousness that must be activated on our inside. There are levels of preparation that we must be given to. And there are depths of sacrifices that must be made. If we will be able to host what is coming and to steward it correctly. This is why my emphasis for last night was death. Death to everything experientially that is of the old creation. And I told you there are many circumstances that God will carry you through in order to come to that point where you no longer give allowance to the old creation to find expression. Legally, you are saved. Legally, you are part of the kingdom of God. But experientially, committer of responsibility is a function of the degree of debt that you have accepted to the old creation. There are certain things God cannot commit to you if you are still a liar. There are certain things God cannot commit to you if you are still a fornicator. There are certain things God cannot commit to you. We know that in Christ Jesus you are forgiven. But experientially, you must come to a point where you beat your body to come into conformity with the direction of the Spirit. That is when God can commit glory, authority, and dimensions of His possibility to your hands. So when we bring the message of alignment, the message of judgment is not to tell you you are a sinner. It is to awaken the lion in you. Because when that economy of eternal life was imparted into your spirit man, all the possibilities in Christ Jesus that was bequeathed your ordination was granted you. Your taking up responsibility to tame the flesh is what will bring you into walking in it experientially. So irresponsible Christianity cannot be tolerated at this time. This is why I revealed to us last night by the Holy Spirit the strategy of the devil. Not for the world, but to keep the believers in place of bondage, even though they have liberty in Christ. I showed us everything the devil is doing to stop us from entering into the essence of our ordination. There will be many dead lions. There will be many sleeping warriors. And there have been, but it's time to wake up. If you understand that there is encroachment around your borders, if you understand that there is infiltration, if you understand that there is suffocation, you will wake up and take the disposition of warfare. This is why I showed us the quadrant that God is raising. Missionaries baptized with the spirit of martyrdom. Ready to take the kingdom to the ends of the earth and to advance the frontiers of the kingdom. Even if their lives were to be threatened. If all we know about God is to come on Sunday morning and open our hands to receive prophecies, then we will not have missionaries in Afghanistan. If all we know is to open our hands to receive blessings and impartations, to receive promises, we will not have missionaries in Meiduguri. And the point will come, even here in Ogomosho, many will run away. Because at the instance of attack, everybody will run from their place of security and guard men must rise this is the burden of the emphasis 
Intercessors must be willing to embrace the way of the cave. Having come into understanding that what they are doing may not provide gratification in time. It may not provide fulfillment in time. It might not. But they know the eternal implication of what they are doing. That the move of God for their generation is upon their shoulders and the energy that they can produce for the men that are in front of the battle. So they will commit themselves there even if it comes to a point where there is nothing to eat and drink. It's the spirit of martyrdom. Many don't have it. If we continue building houses and of course there's nothing wrong with it at the expense of praying and raising warriors a point will come where our land will become like Afghanistan and men will prefer to live in caves instead of the houses they have built because there will be more security in the cave than in the house such days are upon us this is why men need to wake up intercessors must rise and God raises merchants among us this morning we decided to add another layer and we started talking about spiritual growth there were six things I wanted to look at that makes for spiritual growth and development but we were trapped on the capsule of prayer and we could not go forward and this evening I want to drive from there a bit more because the truth is that like Reverend Tolu was saying there is a place you enter in the spirit where lost we die there's a place you enter in the spirit where trust is imparted like an injection. There's a place you enter in the spirit where faith is imparted. There's a place you enter in the spirit where wisdom is granted you. So you come and you speak with the wisdom of the ancient, not because you learned it. Paul will tell us clearly that the gospel I preached was not taught me of any man. I received it from the Lord. So there's a place you enter where you receive the message for your generation all of these possibilities are there and if God will help us to chisel in on prayer enough to raise a generation that is willing to pray then part of the job is done hallelujah praise the Lord four things prayer does quickly as we begin to advance you know sometimes when you teach like this it looks as if you are advocating for poverty, for pain, for penury. But the truth is, if we don't come into terms with these things, a point will come where everything we gather will be for the sons of the bond woman. Have you not heard them come to your land and tell you, don't worry, we're building these churches, they belong to us. Have you not heard that? Have you not heard them tell you before, buy these lands, we will take them over. Have you not heard that before? While you are here planning on how to live a comfortable life, some of them are almajiris for the past 10 years learning how to trust and to depend on what they believe and the point comes where dying for it becomes an honor whereas we have a set of christians that all they come to god for is what they can receive to nurture their appetites so no kingdom kingdom men are not being raised and it's a crisis it's a challenge because we think god is out to meet our needs and that is all God is willing to do. We never knew or were never taught that there is a kingdom to advance. When God created man, he sorted out all his needs. That means your need is not part of the reason why you deal with that ancient spirit. He gave Adam everything he ever needed before he started doing business with Adam. So the business of God is beyond meeting your needs. Adam was in a garden where he lacked nothing. So if all you come to God for is your need, then you have not seen the bigger picture. There's a kingdom to advance. Imagine what Adam's fellowship is, is about. In a garden where everything you think and imagine is already available. What then was the weight of Adam's fellowship? Why was God coming to Adam in the cool of the day and he was doing it every day? Why? There was a kingdom to advance. Is there anything wrong with God meeting your needs? No. He said he has given us exceeding great and precious promises that by them we might escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. But when we receive these things, what are they meant for? This is where kingdom comes in. And this evening, as we look at prayer, I want to show you four dimensions of prayer. 
four requirements for prayer in doing kingdom business as a mark of growth for this season as a mark of responsibility for this season as a mark of qualification for this season i tell you if you can't pray now you are not part of what god is doing make no mistakes about it if you are not praying you are not part of what god is doing you can be a preacher you can be anything no matter how spiritual it looks because accuracy at this time can only be fathomed on the altar of prayer this is why we emphasize this again and again and again and we will not stop and i will show you how god blesses men in the last day the blessings of god in the last day is deeper than this surface doctrine of giving and receiving i will show you how god blesses men in the last day so you will understand why we emphasize what we emphasize what we are up against is a warfare that will not end until the elements of this world melt so we can't build confidence on things that have their substance in the elements of this realm our confidence must be built in the spirit and anybody that doesn't understand the intelligence of spiritual interaction is not relevant in this time when we begin to pray the first thing that happens to us is that we sustain the potential of hosting the dimensions of god because god wants to enter this realm and to advance his agenda but god can only be hosted by men that have created a premise for him through prayer this is why the bible said in isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 he said have you not heard has it not been said to you that the everlasting god fainted not neither is he weary he giveth power to the faith and unto them that have no might he increases strength he said even the youth shall faint and shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the lord something happens to them god didn't give them bread and wine god didn't give them a job opportunity he said first they mount up with wings like the eagles then they run they don't faint they walk they are not weary what is happening they are beginning to mingle with divinity until they become express representation of the dimension of the invisible god so they pray to a level where everything god wants to do they become an extension of god that man is superior to the man that has one million in his account because if god needs to do something that needs one million one million will come if it will, if it will take the east wind to bring one million it will bring it if it will take angels to bring one million into his bedroom it will show up this is how men that rule this world operate they know that wealth and everything they need is to advance the agenda of spirits and the bible says they that wait upon the lord they that embrace the economy of prayer something happens to them they become a host to god so they wake up every morning there's a dimension of god they represent there's no way you can fight them these men become institution in this realm to defend the heritage of God as touching the dimension that they represent. See, tomorrow, so long as Benihim in this world, the healing anointing will function. He is not just anointed to heal, he is representative of the healing dimensions of God. I heard a story told by Benihim how that Kenneth Copeland spoke against him and took ill. The father of faith. He spoke against him and took him. Pray, deep faith confession, gave seed. Everything he knew to do, he was not being healed. And he told God, Why am I not being healed? You know, these are men that talk with God. They don't only exercise their faith based on scripture. They can ask God, What is going on? And God said, You touch my servant Benny him. What do you mean? Those these men are hosts, they are hosts of God. That's why you can see Benny him enter Afghanistan. And organize a citywide crusade and gather two million people. Go and try it. You're also a preacher. So, in your own sphere of influence, you can never have kingdom impact until you host God to the degree that can affect your sphere of influence. So, when we pray, there is a kingdom to advance, and we know it's not a possibility until we can host the measure of God. That can carry out that mandate that is upon our lives you wake up and you realize that your life is of no value unless there is a certain mandate that you begin to represent and there's a measure of god that must be hosted
the Bible spoke concerning David. After that he served the will of God, he rested with his fathers. So the life of a man can be summarized as the will of God. A king, a prophet, a service, a wealthy man. He was guarded with wealth to his teeth, but his life was summarized as the will of God. After that he served the will of God, he rested. There's a dimension of the will of God that your life represents, but you need to host God. Every time you need to go further in this kingdom, there's a level of saturation that we make for it. This is why we pray. Because everything about us depends on it. Our growth in the kingdom depends on the quality of our prayer. What is the concentration of God in your life? Prayer makes room in your spirit man, your soul rather, to host God in his full dimensions. And as you begin to saturate with God, what happens is that God begins to quicken hunger, appetite in your soul. That's when you discover that the spirit realm is not apart from us. It's rather a place to be explored. When you see a man show up and things happen, it's an astronaut in the spirit realm. What he's coming to do is to download the dimensions he saw. You quoted the scripture, Exodus chapter 25, chapter 40, verse 9 and 25. He said, Ensure to build according to the pattern that was revealed to you on the mount. The guy had stayed with God until intimacy was beginning to open him, open him up to dimensions. God needed to dwell with his people, but there is a dimension. And that dimension, there is no creativity that can produce it. A man must travel in the spirit until he sees it. And then through wisdom, he can download the same on the earth. So Moses' interaction with God did not only bring him to a place of saturation. The heavens now began to open to him. And then suddenly he discovered that everything in the visible creation is a product of spiritual download. What you see on your campus is a product of spiritual download. People don't wake up overnight and want to dress naked. It's a download. There are priests in darkness that downloaded them to your borders. That is why even those who don't want to, they have no choice. The lady came in after three weeks. Suddenly she discovers the clothes she came from, came from home with are no longer fitting. All of a sudden, her fashion changed. Her orientation changed. She has come under a radar. There's an energy level, territorial energy level that regulates her choices. Three weeks on campus, she's already struggling to keep her virginity. What is happening? The lady was modest for 17 years. How come three weeks have become stronger than 17 years of tutelage energy? Downloads in territories that her soul does not have the capacity to resist. She showed up. She was proud about her virginity. But by the time she's in 200 level, you say how far? And she shakes her head. Is she still a Christian? Yes, but she doesn't understand the technology of download. But men that host God, even if you come and stand naked, they will tell you, go away, you are wasting your time. You know why? Even their appetites have been mortified by the volume of God they have downloaded. So things don't move them. You can wake up and you are talking your slangs. They are not moved. It doesn't apply to them. Even when they are in the bus and you are singing the raining song, they didn't hear it. The song is loud in the bus, but they can't hear. Even their ears are now plugged to the world system because of download. Download, download, download. You show up, everybody is naked. Why some guys are struggling to say, oh boy, you need to be disciplined now. Who told you discipline can keep you? What you need is saturation. What you need is download. Because if you open Facebook, they are there. Open WhatsApp, they are there. Go to the lecture, they are there. Go to the market, they are there. How can you go about it? Every day, photographs coming from Hades in the form of ladies and men. Photographs. Sometimes you go to the airport, if your flight is delayed, you need to be speaking in tongues. Or put an earpiece. Because we will see madness, madness in high quarters. Then you discover that you need to be saturated with God. You need to be full of Him. Everywhere you go, let God come out of you like an aroma. Because you have downloaded too much. 
They will come around you. Rather, they will be the one interacting with the energy coming out of you. If you greet them, they are in trouble. If you talk to them, they are in trouble. Because download, download. They that wait upon the Lord is the strategy of the now. There's no matching order until we raise men that can download God. The reason we stay for long in the place of prayer is not for the form of tongues. It's not for the pride that we can pray long. We know that to survive, we must become hosts. Hosts. Some hosts God until they become spiritual routers. If they come to a place and they speak, everybody around is caught with conviction. The walls pierce their heart. Did you not read about Peter and the apostles? Tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. They tarried for long. Bible history tells us it is for 10 days because it was 40 days into 50 days between Pentecost. They tarried there until the saturation was so much. When Peter stood up and spake, 3,000 men were caught in their heart. Men and brethren, what shall we do? You know who that person is? He's a router. He's a router. You can come on Facebook and you write something. You don't need to preach. You wrote something and put online. Because it came from your spirit. Anybody that sees it, he loses his sleep, is downloaded. The reason you are struggling with what you are struggling is because the download is not yet complete. There's a major call that if you carry, lost will die. You will be traveling and you say, Come home. But when was the last time I thought about somebody? It's download. 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 There's a major. There's a major. You need to download from heaven. You will wake up and then angels are singing everywhere. You are hearing songs until you are now distracted. You say, wait, rest. You guys should wait first. I want to read. I want to read. You don't know what is happening. When we are walking, you are the one that thinks everybody is the same. There are some men that their ear is open to breaking news from heaven. Because of download. Download. They choke themselves with God until they want to suffocate. Every time they cough, it's God that comes out. That's how to survive in the last day. The Christians in the last day are downloaders. They are routers. They are not men coming to tell you so much, to make it so much effort for you to believe God. Hear them, you are implicated. You will go home, the words they speak will travel with you. The next time you want to lie, that thing will come like an amplifier. I told you, those days, oh, after my mom died, I said, Christianity is fake. And now followed my friends to the club. I wanted to test of the war. And suddenly, as we stood in the club, I heard, the wages of sin is dead. The wages of sin is dead. <laughs> you know what? My mom had downloaded God so much. So she said, use him. Everywhere I went, that word followed me and implicated me. I was implicated. That's why I told you this microphone was put in my hand. Because somebody with a downloaded version spoke. This is why the elders of old, when they show up, they say, gather around me, ye sons of Jacob. Sit around me, ye sons of Israel. I will tell you the things that will befall you. Is that a man talking? He was not prophesying. He was not blessing. He was shaping their destiny. He began with Reuben. And he told Reuben, in Genesis 49 from verse 2, he said, you are the beginning of my strength. Excellency and wisdom is what you were fabricated with in the eternities of God. He was telling Reuben, when God created Reuben, these were the dimensions that God weaved into Reuben. Reuben was supposed to be a man of wisdom and excellence. He said, but because of what you did, I have changed it in time. As unstable as water, you will not prosper. You know why? Download. Download. They can talk to you and change your destiny. They can look at you and say, as you are going now, you are supposed to die. Because they are current with heaven. But as I speak, for the next 30 years, you will change your world. And heaven will back it up. Download. We can't change our world until we download God into our spirit. 
download. That's why we talk, nothing happened. We are many, we can't change the intensity of darkness in the territory. There are no downloads. When we download God, five of us can hold hands and we can push back immorality from our campus. Because when we speak, the energy level will choke the campus. Ladies will be in their host and conviction will hit them. You will pack your clothes and burn them. Did you not read about Paul? He said, after the manner of flesh, I fought the beast of Ephesus. And the ministry of Paul spread so much, men wanted to copy him. He said, the sons of Sceva, they went to adjure the demon in the name of Jesus that Paul preached. They failed, yet, the Bible said, many, the fear, fear hit them. And those that had curious books, they brought them together and they burnt them. What was going on? One man entered the spirit with so much download. The router he created was sufficient to tame darkness in the land. Did you not read about Samuel? The Bible said the borders of Rama. The borders of Rama was saturated with the prophetic anointing. So much so that Paul that came to kill him, the download was too much. Samuel doesn't need weapons to fight. What he mastered is download. That's why in Hebrews chapter 11, when they were calling warriors, they called Samuel. He doesn't need weapons. He doesn't need spare. All he needed is download. And the Bible says, so long as Samuel knew, the hand of God was perpetually against the Philistine. Those ones, his angels that fight for them. Why you need to train an army? There are certain men. Did you not hear in the Bible that in the days of war, angels were throwing stones at the enemy? Angels were throwing stones. We cannot fight in the last day until we enter into partnership with the heavens. Download. You can come to a city, you walk back that city, and you pass with 12 angels. Those angels will be doing things that you are not even aware of. Why would they be come and say, Cursed be the mountains of Kibua? For you did not rise up in the day of trouble. How come? Who told him that mountains fight? He talks from realms where mortars don't travel to. Download. Why would the brother show up and say, Cursed be Mazarot? For you did not rise up in the day of trouble. How? How did they know? Download. Let the sun remain upon the mountains of Kibua and the moon upon the mountains of Ajano. And the Bible said the sun did not make haste to go down for the period of one day. There had never been a day like that. Neither will there ever be in the day that God hacking to the voice of a man. Download. You can do something that the jealousy of God becomes your inheritance. When you speak, you provoke the jealousy of God. Download. This is why we need men that can host heaven. They can host God. We have too many preachers. We have too many prophets. We have too many apostles. What we need now are men that carry God in tangible measures. Ah, 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 ah. I was managing my voice so I can teach in this evening. When I started praying, the angels began to whisper to my ears. And I was screaming. I was screaming. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. Because they were breaking news. Victor came and said, stop, stop. You won't kill your voice. I said, I can't. There is somebody is talking. Somebody is whispering. It's so loud. Downloads from heaven. You walk into places. Corridors. And then when you speak, your voice becomes like the voice of many waters. You speak with the tongue of the angels. Because of downloads. When we pray, we download God into our soul. Second thing prayer does is what we call spiritual networking. If your friends on earth are more than your friends in the spirit, you are weak. <laughs> I come as one man, but I fight with the strength of many. David said, by God, I ran through a troop. I leaped over walls. You know what's going on? You have no idea. 
Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. I just pray that what I'm sharing makes sense to you. I pray you will go to prayer and you will sit there, sit there. You are exploring the spirit realm, spiritual networking. I started sharing with you in the morning. Why do you think John? Uh, John who need to stay in the wilderness all his life just to show up and say repent what does it take to say repent it takes more than talking he needed spiritual networking he was coming in the spirit of Elijah and he needed to stay in the wilderness that anointing refabricated his nature that anointing changed his culture that anointing changed his dress code he said he was dressed in Kamesh King. Feeding on white honey. What is going on? He needed to become like the Elijah he came to represent. It's called spiritual networking. So you can come as a 15 year old. You came for the conference. The bishops are sitting. They say come and share. And they are like well. What they are doing is that they are weighing you based on your age. They don't know that in the spirit you are talking with the voice of Babalola. So you are older than everybody there. It's a dimension in God. When you cry, it's the voice of an ancient spirit because you have networked in the spirit. He said, Behold, how beautiful and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in harmony. There's a network. It's like the dew upon Mount Hermon. First he began. He said, It's like the oil upon the head of Aaron, down to his beards, onto his skin. That's natural fellowship. That's natural networking. So I can show because joy, um, Elijah is a teacher. When we pray in the spirit, something can happen. I connect with the spirit and a major comes to me. He is a prophet. When we pray, a major comes to me because the heavens are open. Through his vista, I can enter and see. Natural networking. So the same intensity that the guy at the head is feeling, the one at the beard is feeling, the one at the skirt is feeling, then he migrated to a higher level. He said it's like the deal upon Mount Hermon. That time, our interaction have migrated from the earth. We are now fraternizing with entities in Zion. That's why I said, you have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, to an innumerable company of angels, to where the spirit of just men is made perfect. You can pray now, and you will discover that you will connect with Apostle Paul in the spirit. I read stories about Sadhu Sanvaraj. The guy reading the book of Isaiah, and suddenly, Isaiah comes out through the wall. What do you mean? Where are you coming from? The networking of the spirit. Where are you coming from? You think we can fight darkness by just preaching the Bible? You don't know. There are things that have been built into the spirit realm for our advantage. Some of us need to connect with Elijah. Some of us need to connect with Jeremiah. Some of us need to connect with ancestors and patriarchs of old that caught covenant with God and won victories in Israel. We will connect to their heritage is in God, but that fraternity is in the spirit. There are many who don't know it. Why do you think these men are talking differently and it looks as if they are going in a different direction? The church is not even aware. Study him and John will show up and tell him that the abomination of desolation is now. Is that man reading the same Bible you are reading? He is reading and networking in the spirit. I heard Pastor Chris who are he said the greatest dimension of word of knowledge for him is not to even discern people's ailments. He said when he studies the Bible, God carries him to the time when those things happen. So while you are reading about David and Goliath, somebody else is studying and God tracks him back in time and then he's watching the battle. When he's explaining to you it's different, he can bring you the presence of that warfare. That's why some men open scripture. You are not only educated, they bring the atmosphere of the event to the hall. Fraternity in the spirit. You know why we labor in prayer? Because we know that our advantage is on the mountains of Zion. Your advantage is not on earth. It's in Zion. And you must find your place there. Was it not John that was writing? I had already written scriptures wrote John, the gospel of John wrote first, second and third John but he wanted to write revelation they say you can't write this book on earth 
this particular one you can't write it on earth you must come to heaven first and john was carried to heaven john had a tour around heaven they carried john to the beginning of time they carried john to the end of time and the same john that had already written four books we now say if you read this book you are blessed he brought salutation from heaven before he began to write are you not the one that wrote the other scriptures why must you go to heaven to write revelation matters of the last day warfare require networking with the angelic it requires networking with the spirit of judgment made perfect you can't do business of the last day with just your intelligence you can't do business of the last day with only inspiration there must be networking in the spirit everybody that is part of this army they know what i'm talking about teaching priesthood you can't teach it by studying exodus and hebrews or leviticus you will meet men in the spirit they will educate you on what priesthood is about spirituality will migrate this is why i told you only dead men can do this business only dead men paul will tell you i know a man many years ago whether in the body or in the flesh i know not but he was carried to the third heaven so when paul is speaking you think he's intelligent The beautiful thing is that everything a man enters in the past is a dispensation in the latter. So if Enoch entered into rapture by intimacy, rapture is a dispensation for us. So the experiences individuals had, we can now have them as companies. This is why I'm telling you that your prayer is beyond asking God for bread and wine. There's a networking you must have. Some of you will not manifest until you meet your partners in the spirit. You will pray and then you will suddenly collide with Deborah. And she will tell you, come on, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. You can't rule among men unless you have a place in Zion. Everybody doing something great today, he knows where he has traveled to. Benihim said, if you go in there, the realm will come out with him. You are the one that thinks it's about quoting scriptures. Every scripture you read is a gateway into the spiritual. If you pray enough, those doors will open. That's when you will see that wisdom is a place in heaven. We cannot confound the devil if all our business is terrestrial. We need spiritual networking. When you see people making things happen, there's no coincidence about it. They know. They know. They know. They have met people. They've seen things in the realm. Networking. That's why you must pray until something shifts. Else you will not be relevant. When I told you if you are not praying now, you can't be part of what God is doing. I was not joking. Most of you are hearing these things. They are strange. Some can even call it mysticism. Some can call it spiritism. They have no understanding of the battle of the age. They have no understanding. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's not enough to be knowledgeable, brothers. Our advantage is in the spirit. Why do you think David won 44 battles? It's not because he has the strongest army. He knew when the Mambri tree moves. He knows when the armies of Zion march on. Why do you think Joshua conquered? When he does his apostolic mapping, he meets beings in the spirit. These are not stories. These are strategies for the church in the last day. He knows when the armies have gone ahead. So that time, even if you throw stones, we win. The advantage is in the spirit. If you have not prayed to a level where you break out of time, if you have not prayed to a level where you break the influence of time, all you will have are downloaded versions of reality. You can never have anything in this kingdom. 
This message is not for everybody. It's for those that have the mark. They are the ones I'm talking to. There are some that will survive by principles. But there are certain men, the weight of their ordination will require that they are summoned to the heavens. Come up, Peter! Come up, Peter! You think Moses is just leading because he was called? There is a level where your call must drag you into death. The people that did that thing you are doing before you, they will tell you the secrets and the strategies. They will hand over instruction manuals to you. They will give you mantles in the spirit. They will give you wisdom capsules to conquer. This is why your weakness is not a disadvantage. Forget it. Nobody is weak. Pray. You will find your colleagues in the spirit. You can come to a meeting and your brothers come with you. And when you stand and you say, Lord, bless them, you will be amazed those who are walking. Your angels and your partners, men that bore this message that you preach over the generation, they will come back to bear witness. Reverend Chris wanted to preach total experience in Port Harcourt in 2006. And God told him, tonight, I will allow some of the saints of heaven to participate in your meeting. What do you mean? Do you mean they participate? Yes. Sometimes the impartation in the service is not a product of your anointing. You were ministering and the person that handed over the baton to you also came to help you. I'm showing you these things to awaken your consciousness because the battle of the age is a battle of mysteries. This is why we allow ourselves to be spent before God. There's an assignment we cannot carry out with our training. There's an assignment we cannot carry out with our, our wisdom, our understanding and our learning. There must be spiritual networking. Tell those who do business and prosper. They will tell you where they go to and the people they meet. Every level and every layer, every strata has a gatekeeper. You must fraternize. There are things you may never be able to do until your company begins to interact with you. Most of you, as you begin to pray, you start feeling sensations all over your body. What is this? What does this thing mean? Forget it. What is happening is that they are welcoming you into your realm. Stay there. Stay there. That's the time to stay. They are welcoming you. Don't be carried away because you felt heat on your hand. No! Journey until fraternity is complete. Some of you have no gift. Don't be worried. You don't need gift so much to move the kingdom. I'm telling you, there are not mysteries that are your advantage. There is a place you will enter in the spirit. You will come down with the authority that is beyond the gift. Did you not read about your patriarch, Babalola? How that he prayed until Angel Gabriel showed up and gave him a tube of yam and said, eat it. How do you think a man wields such authority? Fraternity. We must travel beyond time. We must travel beyond space. We must travel beyond the limitations of flesh. I came to show you things that make for the advantage for this age. Prayer produces spiritual networking. Pray enough, you will know what I'm telling you. The third level of prayer is what we call spiritual administration. There's a level you kept to in prayer that every time God needs an intervention, He begins to summon the warriors. You will not know why. You will not know why. You wake up every night by 12. There's a gate about to open in darkness. God needs to summon His men to provide backing from earth. Because if there's no backing from earth, even the divine will be epileptic. Unless God chooses to exercise the sovereignty. And God doesn't use his sovereignty very often. I, Daniel.
Daniel understood by books the years of captivity was 70 years but heaven was waiting there's no man on earth administration cannot take place even the archangels were ready but there can be no administration until Daniel went on his knees that was when Gabriel came and said after that the prince of Persia is gone the prince of Grecia will come he showed him divine order how civilizations are born how the administrations of heaven are ruled among, upon the earth realm but prayer is the precursor of divine administration the prayers of the saints the bible said are sent to heaven as authors they are stored up in golden vials so when god wants to do a duty he will fetch from the prayer of the saints and he will mix it with incense in heaven he will mix it with spices spices so that possibilities take place i showed you colossians 4 12 earlier epaphras is one of you the born servant of christ laboring fervently for you in prayers that you may stand perfect administration Galatians 4 17 my little children of whom I travel again in prayer that's a teacher talking Christ is not only formed when truth is brought we make men stand by prayer administration that guy may never be a prophet unless the intercessor pray can I assure you something even the revival we are talking about in Africa you will be shocked that the prayer was not generated in Africa but it's called divine administration there are men that have burned themselves in caves praying for 50 years but because their prayer provoke heaven god now decides to pour his spirit on africa his administration there are men that you will never know in time they will be honored in heaven he says some of them the world is not worthy for their names to be mentioned these men are responsible for kingdom administration some of you don't know you are praying you think it's not answered forget that thing they told you prayer is all about bread and wine that's why you think your prayers are not being answered most of the voices rising today is because you prayed you may never meet in time but in heaven they will tell you the reason you are a pastor and you prospered in colors was because the buffalo was praying behind the cave the reason you raised the dead is not because you have faith for the dead a buffalo is praying strategies of heaven administering places and possibilities because men accept the fetish of priesthood divine intelligence if at this time you receive the grace for prayer give god thanks you are the most significant in the battlefield oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 ah. A generation must rise. I was making fun of Lawrence Oyo. I told him, How can you go and do retreat for 90 days and you come and preach for two days? We were just laughing. And I said, You are a spiritual waiter. And God opened my eyes. And I saw that when he chanted, when he begins to chant, there is a smoke of glory that comes out. The first thing he does is that he enters people and energizes them. And then the residual enters the territory and creates a cloud of glory. So everywhere he releases that chant, possibilities are open. So he may have to wait for 90 days to chant for two hours. It's a technology in the spirit. Meanwhile, some carnal men come and they are trying to chant my king. They think it's melody. They don't understand that it's a system of spiritual resonance to cause the heaven to align with the earth. It's called Mahana. It's not a melody. It's what is generated. Administration. The greatest man in the kingdom may never be seen on the pulpit. But in heaven you will see generous and you will be surprised. You will see generous. Hey, hey. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Hey, hey.
you don't know the advantages we have now. I was telling Theophilus, I said, Okay, you are not a summit, you are a priest. Me, I know you. And then we started laughing. You don't understand. You can hear a song and you come alive. What's going on? Networking. Kingdom administration. This is why there's no room for competition. We know where we are. We know our assignment. I am preaching everywhere I know. It's not about me. Hey, uh, I am. Some of the interventions you will receive is not because of your faith, it's because of networking. Networking. Did you not study your Bible? Paul was going to Damascus to kill the believers. The moment he entered the perimeter of Damascus, Jesus struck him down. Jesus struck him down. You cannot enter Damascus. Why? There's a priest in Damascus. His gate is kept. So that guy can provoke Jesus to strike Paul. And when Jesus finished talking to Paul, he said, rise up, go into the city. You'll be told what to do. And Ananias is the one that determines what happens here. This text is within the radar of Ananias. If Ananias speaks, I can respond from my throne. Networking, administration, so Ananias made an apostle out of Paul by spiritual administration. You can keep people in Jerusalem, but if you enter Damascus, you must first of all meet Ananias. And he showed up and said, Brother Paul, Brother Paul, I am not a preacher. My name is not known, but I keep the gates of Damascus. Brother Paul, the Jesus that appeared to be on the road, why coming? He sent me to you. Now rise up. Hey, 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 hey. Administration. I've gone for meetings before. I just stood on the altar. People began to prophesy. I went back and said, Oh boy, my anointing don't increase you. God told me, No. They prayed in tongues for 60 days before you came. Administration. You reign. You reign. You reign. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Help that brother. Help that brother. I don't want us to chat. Sit down. The fourth thing that prayer does is reformation. Help the brother. Help. Him. We will advance. We will ascend by prayer, not by the anointing. We ascend by prayer tonight. Everybody must be baptized in the baptism of prayer. From hosting to networking to administration, then to reformation. It's after reformation that blessings come. What is reformation? You pray to a level, then you enter the spirit and they begin to wear you your garment. All of us, we start as sons, but when we ascend into the spirit, some of us we discover that we are priests, some of us we discover that we are kings, some of us we discover that we are warriors, others we discover we are merchants. It's in heaven that the mapping is done. It's in heaven that the reprogramming is done. I will show you from scripture. Speak in tongues for one minute. So, 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 you reign, you reign, you reign, Kafata. You are my queen. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Oh, you are my queen. Oh, 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 Listen, the heavenly 
companies are beginning to come. Bara Savala Tabrisa. Brina Tabila. Brina Tabila. Brina Tabila. Hey. Oh, 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 to fight and my fingers to war it's a dimension in the spirit that was why he raised warriors the bible spoke of Athena the ex knight at one point he took a spear and he slew 800 men by what means a man that had seen the finger of war was his instructor Eliezer the son of Dodo he fell on a spear and he conquered the garrison of army. Why? He was taught by a warrior. Shamar, the son of Agay. Why? He was taught by a warrior. That was the same dimension that came upon Philip. He said Philip went to Samaria. He preached Christ there. He took over the whole city. He's a warrior. These are men of skill. They can manipulate. The Bible said they move upon the mountains like gazelles. Like gazelles. They know the strategies of war because in the spirit they have been formulated. That's why I say, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm upon his holy mountains for the day of the Lord cometh. And he comes and he said, they will be like the noise of chariots. Warriors. Warriors. He said, they will be like the noise of chariots. Can I tell you about the story of chariots? There are horses. Some of them are called Mustangs. The Mustang doesn't know how to come back. It can move through fire. That's the dimension of people that God is raising. You tell them, do not go to Jerusalem. The man going to Jerusalem, this is what will happen to him. But he's a Mustang. He can't back down. He doesn't know how to back down. A prophet comes, says, if you go to Jerusalem, you'll be in prison. He says, I go to Jerusalem, bowed in the spirit. That's a warrior. He's a mustang. He can journey through death because there's a kingdom to advance. He can walk through fire because there's a kingdom to advance. The mustang. The mustang generation. The other ones are called speed horses. The speed horse is what brings acceleration to the move of the spirit. Those are the ones that carry kings. They can enter before you see. You have show horses. The show horse is the one that is gifted. He can come into a stadium in Afghanistan and 30 cripples rise and lose 2 million souls in Afghanistan. Why? He's a show horse. He can reveal the excellencies of his glory. He can show the dimensions of the kingdom. God raises an army, warriors, priests, kings, and merchants. I can't proceed. The heavenly companies are here. I can't proceed. Ballet, ballet, ballet. You rain, you rain, you rain. Listen, listen, listen. There's a radical anointing about to begin to flow. Some of you, you will literally be carried to the spirit realm. Some of you will receive literal impartations upon your life that will change you. Some of you will see just men made perfect. Some of you will enter fraternities in the heavens. 
and you will manipulate things on earth. Are you ready to pray? Shuge baros kivide selahate rapatonde kabiselite I don't press the pill I told my Ziki daro to panda talio Eko popo roto pezizi Lifrete naso kopali I told pazili Rateko sekevilia Ateko mite keria Katonia deteria Iteko aparagadi Ratoguze keriata Alike pondoya Ay 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 Zirieto Rania Akadia Dopenia Ile Kupadia Adagoru Degede Yeko Yaka Makaya Akwadiando Agaga Asodi Lemoria Aye 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 Roata Aparone Keberi Ay 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 Soverete verete verete Operate and verate, operate and mirate and at war. Ye de de baratanagazia, a lot of ponotero to feladia. Woro, 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 woro. Ye passa zelia, rete pesizia, atena candogora, rete pesi, apalo atande gaba. Ay, 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 ay. Can you ascend? Can you ascend? We are ta 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 ta. La ka ta twa dia, a tango pendia, a ka pa dia pura dia, ileke pa zate, a ta toto, e te ka twa tali, ito, 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 erata ya ya, zete po, aiko pa. Ropa, ropa, ah! Eleveria lighter, baron de cavities elevere natali. Etuanda para, etuanda para, etuanda para. Le passa celia, aye, aye, aye. Remember, it is consciously, consciously. Paul say, I will, I will. You don't need the sound to ascend. You don't need the sound because in the time of war, there might not be a pianist around. There might not be a drummer. Can you engage your will and tell the Lord, I am rising above the level of mediocrity. I am coming up stronger. I'm coming up higher. Ye to poro to poro tuai. Ye to poro to poro tuai. Ye to poro to poro tuai. Ye para to to beradio. Ye para to to rato beradio. Ye para to to beria. Ye to poro dia. 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 Ye Yes, I can't sell it. Get paranoia. I can't possess it. I love that. Zaya. What a total. I let it go now. At the top. Hey, 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 Power is here. Ye devil, get one little, get one a big one. As the leash a day, a petrol a guru day. Leko panya, leko yerusha. Ay 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 ay. What a level, William. Shaka pataliat, Antaria. Ite, 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 
locking on his inside but when the creator showed up 
we travel over land and sea to get to that man because he knows that when he succeed in getting that man ten cities will be taken tonight we are going to pray as many here whose potential have been tamed by an affliction have been tamed by by a stone that the devil has placed in their hand tonight freedom comes and as freedom comes the reality they represent begin to find expression ay, 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 ay. can you begin to pray and ask the lord you receive freedom from every stone that have been placed in your hand by the devil every stone that weaken the potency of your witness for jesus every stone that makes the witness of your of you of jesus in your mouth to be weaker the devil is not in control the devil is not in charge jesus is in control can you protest your freedom? Can you proclaim your liberty? Can you demand freedom? That thing no go. That make her witness to be weak. That thing that make his witness to be weak. That his righteousness cannot challenge the righteousness of others on the street. Righteous warriors rise from among us. Righteous warriors. Warriors of blessing holiness. Warriors of fire. Warriors with thunder in their mouth. They rise from among us tonight. No more mediocrity. No more lukewarmness. We come against and we overcame every spirit that has been unleashed against the youth of this country. Ali Kaponte Pariade Zali. Listen. Listen. Spiritual interaction is about to begin. As you pray now, most of you will connect to ancient covenants, ancient prophecies, ancient mantles. Interaction is about to begin. I don't want to break the flow of prayer, but I needed to announce it because that's what's going on now. And in the name of Jesus, the ceremony begins. Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. It will begin to have interaction. Let sisters be carried. Let sons be carried. 
into hollow chambers, into secret quarters. Oh God, let the chariot of fire come. Take men into deep experiences. Read the Pasetopedia. Enter, enter, enter. We open the channels in your spirit. We command the floodgate open. Enter, enter. Let the gate of encounters be open. From this night, from this night, you will not be confused any longer about what the Lord will have you do. No more confusion. We throw confusion like a carpet and we roll it off your path. Come into the realm of the angelic. Welcome with the spirit of judgment made perfect. Let the Lord grant you encounter, deep encounter that will clear every form of doubt in your spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Listen if you can. Sir, one of the evidence that God will prove to you that this program, this program that just held, is, is orchestrated by him is that he will give you a sign and the sign is this after now you will see packet of prayer cells littered all over this city all over this campus men and women boys and girls will suddenly come under an influence that they can't control you will see that they will be gathering in parks praying I, I enter possessor and as I speak the energy to perform it is coming upon people lift up your hands run the casia banata lepidia tapasia I call ya kama it a donia tite like waga by yet holy spirit of God Jesus Fudialas Listen. Don't pray again. Don't pray again. You have prayed. The Lord has heard us. It's time for the emissaries that are here to do their job. Be quiet and be sensitive. Precious Holy Spirit of God, lift up your hands if you can. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, stretch forth your hand like a canopy over this assembly and begin to break in men, begin to break in sons and daughters into the place of responsibility. Right now, precious Holy Spirit, from the front to the back, from the left to the right, Lord, let your hand begin to anoint your people. Let your hand begin to anoint everyone. Let none be left. Let none be, uh, be, be, be left out of this ceremony. Jesus, God's Holy Spirit, Caprata, Lefre, Eta, Pazizu, Skivaletia, Torodo, Melaita, God's Holy Ghost, Tenatiza, Lefre, Eta, Toto, Rote, Catania, Ura, Ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
garment of laziness, lethargy and lukewarmness, let it be burnt up by the fire of the anointing. Let it be burnt up by the fire of the anointing. Some of you suddenly you will begin to weep. You will begin to cry. Your hand will begin to burn. Your feet will begin to burn. Your stomach will begin to construct with power. Yes, Lord. Let the experiences begin. Let it begin stronger, stronger, stronger. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy. Touch. Initiate man to eat. Initiate, initiate by your spirit. By your spirit. Oh. By your spirit. By your spirit. I see a young man. Your eyes were open before. But something happened somewhere. The eyes have been shot. You missed you messed up with your consecration. The eyes have been shot. You can't see things anymore. Even when you see his glory and understanding is withheld from you. Tonight the Lord performs the work of restoration. Holy Spirit, locate that one. Let your hand come upon him stronger. Let his eyes be open. Let it be open. Let the prophetic anointing. Let it come back. Let it come back. Resilient. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shkivali, the fire of an evangelist is coming upon somebody. You had passion for soul before now, but you are never confident. Tonight, the Lord can do a fire. Lord, where is that one? Where is that sister? Lighten her feet. Lighten the feet. Lighten the feet. Put cause of fire. Cause of fire. Fire. Yes, Lord. Let it begin. Light up the Aklepedia. Ready to see the nail. I can find your trolley. Trolley attire. Scarp. Ay, 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 Oh my God, oh my God, wait the terrier. Bunch of keys is being handed over to somebody. And for you, that person, the Lord is raising you as a deliverer. He's making you a deliverer. Doors, you will open doors by just praying. Just declaring you will open people you will open possibilities that have been locked by satanic power such is the authority that the lord hand over to somebody here thank you holy spirit thank you jesus let me not go at the other get you at the different island at our legacy sky giving the authority for priesthood over the land. It's an ordination of God. It's not by the hand of man. Father, everyone here tonight that you are bringing into that hallowed position of priesthood, 
the wisdom, the technocracy, the stamina. From the left of this hall to the right, from the front to the back, Holy Spirit, touch them now. Ordinations. 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 Priests. Territorial priests. That back row where people are standing. God is bringing authority upon some of you. You will become rulers among men. Rulers. The anointing for rulership. I told you they are warriors. Help him. They are priests. They are kings. And they are merchants. Anointing for rulership. Father, in the name of Jesus, release it upon them. Release it upon them. Now, Holy Ghost. Now, Holy Ghost. Now, Holy Ghost. Now, Holy Ghost. Barata Baratina Bosch. So rulers. If you are close to anybody that somebody they are not to help them so they are not injured. And the Lord is releasing wisdom. Wisdom for world creation. For influence. From the left to the right, from the front to the back, Holy Spirit, touch them. Take it, take it, take oh, no, it. Wisdom. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The angels of God are walking amidst us. Don't be distracted. Don't be a spectator. Focus. Focus on the Lord. Help that brother standing on the table so he doesn't enjoy himself. I'm being careful to hold myself back so people are not injured in the process. But don't be distracted. When God succeeds in raising warriors, raising priests, Raising kings and raising merchants, then he activates the blessing. The blessing is by wealth transfer, and there are six because of God will give you a wisdom that cannot be gainsaid. It can come in form of a message, it can come in form of an invention, but it will trigger wealth transfer. God will give you a name. Your name will begin to open doors and it will trigger wealth transfer. God will give you a grace that will bring you before kings and the nobles. It will trigger wealth transfer. God will give you men, men in high places. It will trigger wealth transfer. And God will give you an influence. A scepter called an influence of the spirit. It will trigger wealth transfer. That's what we bring the blessing. Lift your hands and receive. Receive, receive, receive. Receive. Receive, receive. Marata Parasisa Palapondre Sapas. 
Receive the grace that opens doors. Receive the grace that brings men before kings. Receive the gifts of men. Man, we add to you until your host we become like the host of God. Receive influence. Influence, influence, influence in the spirit. This is the wisdom for which invention. Programs of Catalonia. Ishile <laughs> I am a rapper. I am Come on, come on. Let's do a territorial business. Please come on. Man of God, come on, come on, please. Rasim, please, Judah. We want to make decrees, territorial decrees. There needs to be a shift in this land. Gates need to open. Portals over the land needs to open. Heritages that were lost before now needs to be restored. As we begin to make these decrees, some of you who are implicated, the hand of God will come upon you in a strange way. In a strange way. That's the last thing God wants to do tonight. Reverend, please. Now, it's not a time to be emotional, so calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. You can stop praying. As God's servant began to minister, the Lord began to show me gates in the spirit. And there are gates in diverse dimensions. He began to show me how gatekeepers have gone missing and all kinds of trafficking have happened through our gates. I saw the gates of sound. I saw the gates of fashion. I saw the gates of the prophetic. I saw the gates of doctrine. How that those who were designed to keep the gates have gone away. And the Lord is saying to me that there is an urgent work that he needs to do and we don't have time for people to mature. So what he will do is to grant us gatekeepers who will ensure that nothing new comes in that is called strange. And I saw the number 50. Jesus you can stop praying. You can stop praying. Because he showed me 50. That our borders in the spirit will be secured until a generation comes into maturity. Let your hand help me find the 50. Across different sectors of our civilization as a territory. 
As I begin to count, let your hand begin to find it. From my right to my left, from the front to the back, help me find the 50 that you have. Anointing tonight into gatekeeping expressions. Thank you, Father. Now, Holy Spirit, help me find them now. One. Holy Ghost, two. Three. Four. Five. Holy Ghost, six. Yes, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yes, seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20 all over the building by an anointing by an anointing a tangible touch 21 and 2 and 3 and 4 yes they may have worked as weaklings but they go forth with an anointing the borders are secured Yes, a tangible anointing. I also see in the spirit in the similitude of swords. I perceive that it's an administration to bring men into warrior existence. I see seven swords in the spirit. And I ask Lord that you will cause these swords to descend. Let them descend. Let them descend. Let them descend. Let them descend. That the territories we shaped by the ministry of this warrior company. Help me find them now. Help me find them now. The seven of them. The seven of them. I see clearly there are four young ladies and three young men. In Jesus name I pray. Now the hand of the Lord will find that seven because the anointing will destroy very strong. Those four young ladies and those three young men. Holy Ghost, anoint them now. Anoint them now. Anoint them now. Anoint them now. Let that anointing become strong upon them. Let it become strong upon them. Now, ushers, uh, we need the seven here. We need the seven here. There is seed to those who are coming. We need the seven here. The hand of the Lord is coming upon them strongly. Ah, me kaito vezapani atone antelamos. Mi atelazos. Mi atelazos. Mande ke bala costa haga. De ke menosta camina de la di gombra desta kadaba. E no savande cradosa. E vanguard company. E vanguard company. Seven. E vanguard company. E no sa ki bala tema. Male costo bradeka. Se menuga bradeke le marata. For in the day that the apostles needed men. The act set from among you seven men. For these seven will become expressions of different configurations that have been wrought by the teachings and the doctrines of the apostles. Seven men, seven, 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 seven. Kemalagada Bayada, bring that lady to Mandopros to Kolobonadega. Agabratos de Kebele Kopane. Lebada, Lebada, Acosto Brodo Code, Agalaba Tosta Kamenata, Ele Comenate, Stadido, Ragedo, Saga Balate, Ragosto Bregede. There are three young men still left. There are three young men that, are, that should be here. There are three young men. Three young men. Bring the men out. Manato Saka, Abrate Cobaletose, Sibanado, Sibanado. Aracobe le costo colebrata, a de costo brodo, e roconta, e donde fradesto haga, e malada capayato, sabate capanda sa, seven, 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 seven configurations of the spirit, of the spirit, 
Mando soko balateka. Alando mendo brande kosto prekete. Semeli gadabaya. The permutations of the spirit. In the seven, the permutations. As a vanguard, as a vanguard. Mando soka balata. Alamanando rabando seketelia. Realize that the seven are just points of contact. So what the Lord is doing with them is spreading all over the house. Mane kobali na masaka belete. Erogono molo de vedeke de balata. Anebro soko bala de gede bregedele de gedosa. Emba bro soko mbrete de de gedele tos. Rugabala do sundali aste. Emena gabayata. Jabadoya. Ele bombo rodo borodo. Raketole mbrastele gede boloto. Emanata, e bratonos, e buene mexica, lemenet, lemenet, e londo sondo, prane costo, samalava da costo, lianda. In the name of Jesus, we are going to do something briefly. Can you lift up your hands? You are going to be shouting glory seven times. And at the count or at the seventh count, everything that is not of God, that is hiding inside of anyone here, that makes it difficult for you to advance spiritually, it will check out of you naturally by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? I will count one, you will shout glory. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spirit, I charge you in the name of the Lord Jesus, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, blinding demons, immorality, spirit of seduction. I hear my voice. I charge you in the name of Jesus, out of them, out of them. Out of them, repide ke besele, reto basli eto, kaya laita, laite laita, dimogle here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cause a separation. Anyone here under the yoke of manipulation, under the influence of spirit husband, spirit wife, you that is molested in the night, I declare as the mouthpiece of God, tonight you see them no more. In the name of Jesus, I am a rando pasisa, rateka vila tena kasasai, I kavalia to fronte, laga didi yato, raile yada, yekeke kakaka, akakakaka. Quiet, quiet. That demon that comes to molest you, to steal your spiritual energy, Upos, I charge you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let your anchor be broken. Let your anchor be broken. Let your hold be broken. In the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of demon that makes you slave to masturbation, to pornography right now by the anointing the help of the Lord comes your way that race is erased your brain is format you receive energy to say no Laga Beselem Ratabanas Scrabalita Labro Quamba Para 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Shale. Shale. Listen, listen, listen. If that lady place your hand in your womb here. Watch me. Place your hand like this. Come Bahala. I see the Lord doing a mighty work of deliverance tonight. For us. Some of us, it's not fire that we like. We can't sustain the fire. When it comes, after two weeks, it is leaked out. Because of strange habits. But tonight, deliverance has come. Place your hand on your womb if you are a lady. My brother, place your hand on your forehead. For Nestle, he is a Zapanaskle feeder. Kolomene Gabala Talia, Talia Tamanaita, Take a Beredish, Ratadash, 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 Holy Ghost. Whatsoever that is not of you, that is hiding inside anyone here, Lord, I release fire. I release fire. I release fire from the crown of the head to the source of the feet. I release fire, 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 fire. Let it burn up every chap that is hiding inside your daughters, inside your soul. That enemy of the prophetic, that enemy that have kept them from expressing the anointing right now. I break their yoke. Ah, I proclaim freedom. I proclaim liberty. I proclaim liberty in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. If you can be quiet, be quiet. Let me say a few things here, please. If you can be quiet, be quiet. Now, what I'm going to say applies just to a few people. But the impression in my heart is that the phrase matching others suggests um, a Joshua generation. So Moses had labored to a point and then the work was not completed because the children of Israel were not in Canaan yet. They had to still go forward. They had to march forward. But Joshua felt at a point that the shoes or the boots of Moses were too big to fill in. And that is the feeling that is dominant in some people tonight. You have heard so many strange things and you think, well, can I really walk in these shoes? Perhaps you were hoping that God will shrink those boots and that God will lower the standards. But God said, no, I will expand your feet instead. I will expand it. Now, I've said this just to prepare you so you know when the impartation happens. Deuteronomy 34.9, the Bible says that Joshua was filled but the spirit of wisdom because Moses the servant of God laid his hands on him. So it was by an impartation that his feet expanded, as it were, and he could march towards Canaan. Some of you have been told you are in the lineage of Babalola and you are wondering me. I don't think I have the size of the feet to fit into that boot. But tonight, your feet will be expanded. So there will be a tangible sign that it is you. There will be a tangible sign, and it will be on your feet you would at an instant feel like you are heavy on that feet you are heavy and it's because the boot does not size into your legs as at yet and so you cannot lift and march but by the hand of god by the hand of god there will be an expansion raise your hands everybody raise your hands it's going to happen to your feet let it happen holy ghost let it happen let it happen let it happen let it happen, let it happen. Let it happen. An expansion, an expansion, an expansion. Your feet, your feet are expanded to fit in, to fit in, to fit in this boot. So that you match, so that you can match. And you can lead an army, you can lead an army into Canaan. It makes our feet like in feet. It makes our feet like in feet. So that we walk upon our high places. So that we walk upon our high places. Let it happen, let it happen. Holy Ghost, let it happen. Shakato your manana soko. As the sound is released, the spirit is released, and there is expansion, 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 expansion on your feet, on your feet, on your feet, on your feet. Yes, 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 yes. From heaviness to lightness, from heaviness to lightness, from heaviness to lightness, from heaviness to lightness on your feet, on your feet, on your feet, on your feet. Now you can march, you can march, you can march, you can march. Rapa kata yodo baladaba. 
we we'll walk in the footsteps of the fathers. We we'll walk in the footsteps of the fathers. We we'll walk in the footsteps of the fathers. Reba ba 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 la ba na 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 sa. Eka kado reba lusa kete komba. Rekete ya ba da da da. Expansion, expansion, expansion. Jata ya ba. Giant feet, giant feet, giant feet, giant feet, giant feet. Jeke te komba na 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 sa. Reba to ya ba la kete ya ba la ba da da sa. Rekete kede do sa. If it's happening to you, you will know. You will know. You will know. It is not for everybody, just a few. But you know, your feet are expanding. It's becoming lighter, 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 lighter. You travel faster. You run through troops. You leap over walls. By the impartation of the Holy Ghost. Rakataya balada balada das. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Confirm your word with signs and wonders. Following, 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 following. Shataya balada balada das. We are rounding up for tonight. Every worker that labored for this meeting run out quickly, quickly. I'm praying for them, but the grace will reach you at the back because God is raising laborers. Paul said the things that you have received from me before many witnesses, the same commit to faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others? Workers are entitled to divine committers. That's what's about to happen now. I'm, I'm about to commit to you the graces, the anointings, the inheritances we receive from the fathers. Because you are faithful stewards. Now begin to make demands. On what you want, the heavens over you are open. Make demands. Hallelujah. 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 Father, upon these ones, let there be a transference of grace. Take up the spirit that you have put upon us and place it upon them. Captains of fifty, captains of hundred, captains of thousands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask, let there be a release of virtue. Take. Just be quiet. It's coming upon you like the dew of heaven. Now, Holy Spirit. 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 Those of you in the congregation, lift your hands. Everything that we have in God, by the Spirit of God, let it be made available. From the left to the right, from the front to the back, enter into divine economies beyond your level of understanding. In the name of Jesus. The dew of heaven comes upon you like the dew of heaven. It comes upon you like the dew of heaven. Breathe upon them. Breathe upon them. Measures of the spirit, like rivers of living waters. Some 
of you receive utterance in the spirit. Utterance. The spirit of wisdom comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. I want to pray for the sick now. They are sick in your body. Just place your hand on your chest. You will be healthy to fight the battle. Every spirit of infirmity holding anybody here bound. Right now I charge you in the name of Jesus out of their bodies. I speak to your bodies. Hear the word of the Lord. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I release life over you. I speak to your eyes, your ears, your blood, your organs. I command every infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Ears open. I see. Pains go in the name of Jesus. Everybody with a blood infection, write down, be cleansed. Be cleansed. In the name of Jesus, I command pains, broken bones, joints, afflictions, arthritis, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Go ahead and check your bodies. Check, check. Do the things you could not do before. Come on, check, check, check. Listen, check your bodies. If you have noticed a change, wave at me. Check. I'm seeing hands. You have noticed a change. Let make it higher. Make it higher. We can't take testimonies, but many of you are already healed. Now you see the hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God is upon you. The face of God shine upon you. The name of God is named upon you. The Lord is gracious unto you. His countenance is lifted over you. In the name of Jesus. No force of this land will swallow you up. Every depth and dimension of God has come upon you tonight. You will manifest it in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus. And the things that we project from you will remain as eternal dynasties. In the name of Jesus. The gates of the city is open to you. The land responds to you. In the name of Jesus, move from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Some have been touched by the Lord tonight. We'll have a register at this door as we shut down for the night. Tomorrow you will be here given the opportunity to share I know that as we go home a lot more will begin to 